Okay. Texan RV life. Do you see this? One second you can have good light, and the next second you don't. Maybe if I turn it this way. Anyway, y'all don't need to see me because you know what I look like, and I'm going to have to try to hurry to do this video while um, my cat is uh, busy. Okay, what, um, well, maybe I should just sit up. Maybe that would do it. Anyway, I wanted to show y'all some things. And um, first of all, my sweet, sweet friend, Taller, who lives in Texas, sent me this Thanksgiving card. I know Thanksgiving is way in the rear view mirror. She's tearing up that little mouse. I'm so glad. Um, anyway, she said, hi, Deborah Joy. I received a picture and Christmas card from Ryan. Sounds like he had a fun and memorable Christmas celebration. Now she's got two amazing sisters. Carolyn and Armida and I wish you a Thanksgiving rich with family love, warm with friendship, happy with life's goodness and filled with the promise of a wonderful year. Love, Taller, a.k.a. Teresa. I would love to show you. I'll cover up her face. I hate to do that because she's beautiful, but she did not give me permission to show it, but she showed me the lovely card that Ryan sent. Teresa, I love your picture, sweetie, and I wish you would let me show it. She always sends me cards for everything. And this one says, Dear Lord, thank you for this gift of food you've placed upon our table. And help us all to do your work in any way we are able. After he said this, he took some bread, gave thanks to God in front of them all. Then he broke it and began to eat. Acts 27, 35. Thank you, Teresa. I'm not kidding you. Without fail, she sends me a card, and I know what she and her sisters look like, and they are adorable. I wish I had two sisters left. Okay, this one. <laughs> Y'all know I have had, uh, uh, what's your name? Huh? Oh, Lily! <laughs> anyway, I have um, had Lily for, y'all know, quite a bit of time now. Five months, I think. Anyway, my older son, Aaron, uh, I got this like maybe three weeks ago. What's uh, I got it on the, it was mailed on the 10th of November. And he has this on the card. And it says inside, things will be back to meow again soon. And then he puts, or not. This child is so much like me, and he hates for me to say that, but he really is. Love you, Mom. I thought this would help. Since you would never expect me to send a card and a little something to buy baking supplies. Love, your son, Aaron. And this is what was in there. Is that a sweet boy? It is. <laughs> Aaron, if you watch this, and I know from things you say from time to time that you do watch occasionally, like the video where you thought I had terminal kidney cancer. 
I'm sorry again about that scare, sweetie. That's what happens when you're looking at a boat magazine and trying to watch your mother's videos at the same time. I wanted to share that with y'all. Um, I got this from... Who does that look like, y'all? Huh? Absolutely. This came from my friend, Mango. I hope you can see how vibrant these colors are. I swear, if I ever go back to living in a van, I'm going all the way to Alabama to get some of her artwork put on it. Okay, when she was here last summer uh, and didn't get to stay as long as we wanted because her pup got sick, um, she had a sticker on her car. And I said, uh, excuse me, where's my sticker? So, she finally sent me one with this little insert. It says, miss you. And she's so happy because I didn't make her eat crow. Okay, and this is my sticker. Isn't that beautiful? I wish I could have my van detailed before I put it on. My little flowers are fading and they need to come off. And my van's always dirty, y'all. But I absolutely love my sticker. It says, stay sunny. Okay, what else have I got? Oh, and of course, she had to make a Starbucks cup, and it is a paper clip. Isn't that awesome? Okay, so there's that. And then, at Christmas time, um, I got some PayPal from a couple of my sweet friends. Lorette, thank you, sweetie. Joan, Ellen, and Shelby, thank y'all, too. I so appreciate it. And Letty, I, if y'all send me any more money, I'm going to have to send it back because I feel guilty. What in the world do I ever send Y'all, not a thing. Well, I do have something for Joan, my pal in Pennsylvania. Y'all keep praying for my friend. She's got to have two more aneurysm surgeries. That is not fair. But just keep praying for her. I love that woman to death, and I cannot wait to see her again. You know, there's... If I win the lottery, I mean it, I'm going to start playing. If I win the lottery, I am going to get a super duper class C with a shower in it. And everyone that invites me, I'm coming to see you if I live long enough. Now then, let me see here. Oh, um... Let me see if I can show y'all this cat toy. You see that kind of turquoise thing? That has a suction cup, and I can't use it on the floor because I have too many ridges. And um, But I have it suctioned right over there. And if you uh, tap it, it twirls in circles. Now, Christmas Eve, Jerry and I... He put that thing underneath my kitchen table, and right away, Toby was all over it. Lily, I don't know, she's not such a fan, but she will be over this. We could hardly open the packages. They were grabbing them. Uh-oh, she sees it now, y'all. I bet she's going to come up here. Let me undo this. This video is going to go a little bit longer. 
than I wanted it to. I can never tell. Do they put these little ties on here, lefty, loosey, righty, tighty? I guess they do, because it is coming off. Lily, will you wait? Okay, okay. Um, she's a feather girl and a string girl, so she will love this. And Toby is too. Okay, now, I also got this from the same person. Now, y'all know there, there are only a few folks that have my home address. And Ricky Smithson is one. And I love that man so much. Howdy, Ricky! And so, this is what else boom, came in the mail. Look at that, y'all. Can you see? She is a beautiful. And, oh, she is smell good. Now, it says on the bottle, let me see who this is. On du parfum. Let me see. It's French. Uh, oh, it doesn't say who she is. Oh, let me see. Oh, Katy Perry. Y'all see that? This kitty is adorable, and I wish you could look. She's got a little tail. I wish you could feel how heavy. Oh, oh, gosh, I smell good. I better not get around any men, folks. Um, she's just beautiful, and she weighs a ton. But I have got to put her somewhere safe. Now, I ran across this note yesterday. It was sticking up out of my little uh, mail holder. It says, Dear Deborah Joy, these earring backs should help hold up your drooping earrings. I would still like to send you things from time to time if you close your mailbox out. Would you give me your address? I would never share it with anyone. Everyone has to protect themselves. If not, I won't hold it against you, Karen. Well, y'all, most of y'all know, Karen has sent me stuff and little Hazel over and over and over throughout the years. So, obviously, y'all know who the two kitty cat toys came from and my beautiful Katy Perry on du parfum. Um, and she put her address on the back. So, y'all, um, It doesn't, <laughs> it must be that time of the month I get emotional. Um, you know, it is not what I receive, but the fact that I receive it. If all Mango had sent me was a paper clip I would be so touched and so happy. So y'all, all of y'all that do have my personal address, I love you to death. I so appreciate you, but what I appreciate the most is your love and your caring. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. So, um, I just wanted to share this stuff with y'all. Oh, and I had to buy 
a whole bag, a whole bag of kitty toys at um, Walmart to get four or five of these little rats. Now, the reason I got them is because of that one little toy that was Lily's favorite. And y'all remember, she was under the stove trying to find it. Her daddy finally found it. And then she destroyed it after I sewed it up. So, um, I'll find a piece of it probably under the stove. When I saw these, I thought, let me see, where's one? I don't think I have one. She's got them all over the place. But anyway, what I did to a couple of them is I cut the tail off and I gave these rats a haircut. So they're really, it's just that piece right there. And I thought that maybe she would think that that was her old favorite toy. Well, she hasn't really shown any preference. Um, oh, did y'all hear her? Come here, Lil. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come here, Lily. Come here. Come on. Come on. I have a whole lap full of them. Can y'all see her? She loves these. And it does, she doesn't seem to have a preference whether it is, there's something in. A couple of them you can hear. Okay. Here. Here. Take off. There you go. Um, she doesn't seem to have a preference over the tailless fuzziness and the ones that are still fuzzy that have the tail. But I mean, I was trying to think like I was a cat. Would I want to have all that nasty fuzz in my mouth? Would I prefer to have one with a tail to drag it around with? I don't know. It seems like it doesn't really matter to her. But the good thing is, one, she plays with them, and two, they will not fit under the stove. She's smelling my parfum now. Do you know that this little girl, a lot of people wouldn't admit this because maybe it's gross, but I mean, morning time and night time, she loves to nurse on my fat. She gets right up here, and she starts kneading and sucking on my neck and purring so loud you could hear her in the other room. Y'all, I know that's kind of gross. I mean, you can hear her smacking, and I keep thinking, I asked Jerry, do I have any, tick, do I have any hickeys on my neck? But so far, I haven't. But she just, I don't know, she's six months old now. Is she going to outgrow that? I tell her all the time she's too big for that. And I do try to wrap up my neck and keep her from doing it. But if she's really, really persistent, I don't know. There's a little part of me that thinks that she needs it. I don't know. It's not hurting me. What do I care? I just wash my neck off. But... Anyway, y'all, I hope that didn't gross you out. I should put a thing on the title of this one, Don't Watch If You're Eating. But I love y'all, and I appreciate you so much. I'm still in the middle of, I'm going to shut this off. Do something fun today, and please continue to be the smart, sensible people that you are, and stay safe. Talk to y'all later. Bye now.